Hello, everyone, and a very warm welcome to those of you joining us live here in person and to the many people around the world joining us online. For all of us, this is a very special day. As you all know, Mercedes-Benz Trucks has over 125 years of history in the making of reliable, efficient trucks. And today is all about the next milestone, the all-electric Mercedes-Benz E-Actros 600, the truck for the road ahead. And I think there is no better location to talk about this new truck than the one where we are standing here today. For everyone here on site, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But for our online guests, we are located in the north of Germany at a truck stop. We're broadcasting live from Nordheide, very close to Hamburg. And this is not just any truck stop. This is one of the most modern and innovative truck stops in Europe. So it's the perfect place to put the new e 600 in the spotlight. My name is Christian Galvez. I will be your moderator today. And to get started, let's welcome someone who is exci as excited as everyone else here on the team, the CEO of Mercedes-Benz Trucks. Please welcome Karin Radström. Hi, everyone. And a warm welcome, also from my side. I've been looking forward to this day for a long time, and I know the whole team has been looking forward to this day for a long time. This is going to be a very, very proud moment for us to finally get to show you our Mercedes-Benz E-Actros 600. Now, some of you might remember the E3 and 400 that we launched a couple of years ago. That truck is in series production since 2021, and we've done our homework, we've added variants, we've increased the specification, and since last year, we also have our E-Econic in series production, and today it's time for the next big milestone, the Mercedes-Benz E Actros 600. This is a truck for long haul transportation, and that means it's a truck for the most demanding transport tasks when it comes to payload, when it comes to distances, and when it comes to routes. And we showed a prototype of this truck already at the IAA last year, but today we will unveil the series version of the E Actros 600. And I'm convinced that this truck will make a difference for our customers, because it can be a profitable alternative to diesel. For the industry, because we're on our way to electrify the long haul segment, which is by far the biggest segment. And for the environment, because it's the most important segment when it comes to CO2 emissions. So launching this truck is a milestone for us, and it's an important step on the journey to lead sustainable transportation. Thank you, Karin, for those opening remarks, a truck that will make a difference for the customers, the industry, the environment. But from your perspective, what does it mean to you personally? Well, I mean, I've been following this project and the, the project since I... Um, since I started in my role as CEO. Um, so it's really, really cool to finally get to show it to the rest of the world. Um, and I think also it is a very, very important truck for us. And it is a truck with which we can um, electrify the long haul segment. And that makes me really proud. And it's actually also one of the reasons why I want to be working in this industry in this moment in time when we can really make a difference. Yeah, you said that you already have the uh, e actros 300-400 in series production. The new one, which we are about to see, uh, is a long-haul truck. Who exactly is this designed for? Um, yeah, I mean, the E300 and 400 we have already in customer hands, and we're getting really good feedback on that truck, both, of course, noise, that it's very quiet, 
um, but also durable, it's li living up to the expectations, and most importantly, the customers are telling us they are really getting the range that they expect and very good predictability about how much range is left in the truck. So the E3400 is a really good truck for like light construction, for um, regional distribution, like going from a logistics center to a grocery store. Um, but the E600 that we're going to talk about today um, is designed for higher payload and longer distances. So it opens up many new use cases for our customers that they weren't able to electrify before. And we also have a very good powertrain in this truck. We have an installed capacity of over 600 kilowatt hours uh, in the batteries. And together with the e-axle, which is designed and developed in-house, we can reach a range of 500 kilometers in just one charge. Well, we all know here, everyone online knows, um, we all know that public infrastructure, public charging infrastructure is not sufficient yet. How will drivers manage the charging? Yeah, well, this is, maybe if I can make one wish today, <laughs> it would be that we would get more public infrastructure at larger scale, build out faster. Um, but on the other hand, we also know that 60% of long haul trips in Europe are actually 500 kilometers or shorter, which means that many of our customers can electrify a big part of their transportation by just installing charging at the depot and at the point of unloading or loading. Yeah, Karin, I know we can talk for hours about this new truck, but I think we should have a look at the new Eactras 600. Absolutely. The time has come. Ladies and gentlemen, the Mercedes-Benz E-Actros 600. It's a completely new world that we have to build, not only for us, for our children, for the planet. Das sind Änderungen in der Prozesskette, es sind Änderungen in der Logistikkette und bei vielen dieser Lösungen spielt nachher doch wieder final der Preis eine Rolle. This industry can improve a lot with the benefit of everyone in the ecosystem. We need to, to take care of our drivers and make jobs for them that they love. That's the moment we have all been waiting for. You will have many time to take pictures later. Karin, um, what a beautiful truck. Yeah, I mean... Uh, what do you I'm like the most about the truck? <laughs> <laughs> to gather myself a bit. Um, but I, I mean, I really, really think it's uh, an amazing design. Um, but maybe even more importantly, we worked really, really hard on the aerodynamics and we improved the aerodynamics compared to the conventional actress a lot. And I know that will make a huge difference for our customers because that means um, better cost uh, of operation. 
Yeah, and as I just said, we will have a lot of time to take pictures. You will have a lot of time. We will hear more about the design in a few minutes. But first of all, I would like to invite someone else here on stage. He was the one, the lucky one, to drive the Eactra 600 on stage. So please welcome the project lead of the Eactra 600, Tillman Moloch. Tillman, I can see the smile on your face as project lead of the E-Actros 600. Tell us, how does it feel driving the E-Actros 600? Well, actually, I have to say the E-Actros 300, uh, 600 surprised me twice. Okay. Uh, first time getting into it, I found it astonishingly easy to drive. Um, it, if you know how to drive a diesel truck, you know everything you need to know uh, to drive this truck. Um, and yeah. Yeah, and uh, you, you talked about two surprises. What's the second one? Well, the second surprise was as soon as I got back into a diesel truck, then I was really missing the quick response to the pedal and the low noise and comfortable uh, driving of the Eactro 600. So if you get a chance to drive, make a test drive, absolutely. Yeah. Karin, let's get to the hard facts. One of the most important criteria for fleet operators are the total cost of ownership, uh, TCO, compared with the diesel truck. Is the Eactra 600 cost competitive? Yeah, well, it's uh, obviously the question. And most of our customers are operating on quite slim margins. So for sure, if they're going to make the switch from diesel to electric, it has to make sense from a cost perspective. And the Eactras will be more expensive to buy uh, than a conventional Actros. But most of our customers are looking at a lot at the cost of operation, and there it will be less expensive to operate because it's more energy efficient than a conventional truck, and um, generally electricity is less expensive than diesel. And if you also look at what's happening now with road tolls, where we see advantages for electric trucks, we think that for many customers, the lower operating cost actually starts to offset the higher purchase price. So we think it does make sense for many to start to make the switch now. Yeah. Tillman, Karin mentioned that the Eactra 600 can drive to up to 500 kilometers with one single charge. Uh, how about to take a closer look at the batteries? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we have three battery packs installed in the truck. Each battery pack uh, has a, a capacity of 207 kilowatt hours. So that makes a total of 621 kilowatt hours that we have installed in the truck. Um, and Karin, you just mentioned that we need to be cost competitive to the diesel. Um, and that means we have to have a long lasting battery. Um, here we have a lithium iron phosphate or short LFP technology installed. Um, and this allows us uh, that the batteries are still in an exceptionally good condition after 1.2 uh, million kilometers in operation and 10 years. Um, then also we have the uh, EXL, you just mentioned, uh, in-house development uh, and in-house production, uh, which is very efficient. And then also the uh, aerodynamic exterior, all this package that gives us the uh, capability to go 500 kilometers on one charge in real life. Wow. Karin, I heard you took some time to observe the battery testing yourself. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. I mean, I was with my management team in Finland this okay. winter. So I know for a fact it was really cold. It was like minus 25. So I know the truck works really, really well in cold temperatures. Um, and obviously, we've also tested it in hot temperatures in Spain. So I would feel very safe to tell our customers that it will deliver regardless of the temperature. Tillman, I know there are a lot of impressive technical features integrated on in this new truck, but sure. as project lead, what are some of the highlights you would like to highlight, point out? Yeah, oh, like you said, we have multiple yeah. features. Um, especially the assistance and safety uh, systems that we have on board. They go actually beyond the requirements of the general safety regulation that comes into effect in 2024. And then just give you an example. Um, we are fusing the data of the radar systems and of the camera system together. And uh, by this, we have a much wider range in front and on the side of the vehicle that we can observe. And uh, just for instance, the Active Brake Assist 6, um, it recognizes pedestrians and cyclists 
uh, even up to a vehicle speed of 60 kilometers uh, an hour, um, and if necessary, can make an emergency brake uh, automatically. Yeah. Um, then also we have crash elements on the side of the vehicle uh, with integrated crash sensors, and the, if a crash is detected, the system will shut down and bring the batteries into a safe state. Yeah. Um, but, but also, um, not only safety, but efficiency is, of course, our focus. And uh, for that, the predictive powertrain control, um, it um, takes in the data of uh, the topography of the road ahead, uh, of traffic signs, but also of the blend road of a navigation system. Um, and all, with all this data, it makes the best out of the energy on board by avoiding unnecessary braking or acceleration. Oh, yeah. I don't know about you, ladies and gentlemen, when I saw the Eactra 600 for the very first time, I was especially impressed by the design. With that in mind, I'd like to ask another expert to the stage, Gunay Kohl. Welcome. Hello. Gunay, you are part of the Mercedes-Benz truck design team. And tell us, how did the team come up with the current design that led to this beautiful, beautiful truck? Uh, it's definitely beautiful. To create such a progressive design, we call it the pro cabin here. You know, that's a long process and you need a lot of patience. And, but the weight <laughs> was worth. So what we see here today is really stunning. And I'm really excited. You can't see my goosebumps, but I think you can feel it here in the air. So the first thing what we do to create a vision is always we use a pen and a piece of blank paper. And to come up with an idea like this, we worked over the years in numerous design studies, as you know, and this was basically our own source of creative inspiration. So the first thing what we did was we've sent this beauty, the vehicle, to the gym to get in shape like a high-performance athlete who trains for a new performance, electric drive. And due to the different drive, we had the opportunity to get rid of some technical or some, some requirements, some elements, and we sculptured a really nice uh, vehicle here. And due to the different drive, um, we had the opportunity to sculpt clean and pure forms in a very seamless way And we can see it here, we gave this beauty a little nice and sensual automotive treatment. We minimized gaps with flush integrated details. Karin already mentioned that air resistance is one of the key factors, main factors uh, influencing the Absolutely. energy consumption. So this design, this clean aerodynamic design probably contributes to the promised range. It actually does, yeah, because every little detail counts. And this pays into efficiency to maximize aerodynamic performance. So everything what we have done was basically very much purpose-driven. And we asked ourselves, what is our contribution? What can we do to reduce air drag? Gunay, we talked so much about the car. <laughs> can you show us some oh, yes, uh, examples right at the, at the vehicle, please? Okay, come on. Yeah. Let's get a little closer to the vehicle. I mean, people, look at these stunning proportions here. <laughs> so what we designed, we designed everything as a cohesive singular unit. And I mean, I'm still so impressed because look at these generously shaped and nice surfaces here with big radii. It's just beautiful. I'm still fascinated. So Christian, the horizontal split here, which separates the cabin from the chassis, we have had the opportunity to also sculpture those little details here. We created this, we call it the air channel, which controls and directs the flow of air around the vehicle with a really seamless form. So we also combined functional elements such as the headlamp, the grill, and the step plates here um, in these so-called tech islands, which create a contrasting and also technical aesthetic. What also sticks to the eye, but actually doesn't stick out of the vehicle, is how we cleverly integrated technical parts, such as the radar system, here within the headlamp behind the glass. So you see, progressive design, it's not just about aesthetics. For us, it's to find the real balance between the functional elements and the pure sculpture. 
Thank you so much for showing us those impressive okay. details. And Karin, let's move to the center stage <laughs> now, because I think there is probably one important question we all have in mind. What is the exact timeline for the release, for the production of the e 600? Yes, um, well, we will do start of sales this year in just a few weeks. And we already started dialogues with some customers. So we have signed letters of intents for a couple of thousand trucks. And then we will go into series production at the end of next year. With that in mind, we are almost at the end of this public world premiere, but what should we take definitely with us, Karin? Um, okay, so maybe three points um, that you should remember. Well, first of all, obviously, the truck itself, the e 600. Um, it's built in the same way and designed as any truck from Mercedes-Benz, and it should be a truck you can trust. The components are made for 10 years, or 1.2 million kilometers. Very much improved aerodynamics, and of course, that you can run this truck on one charge 500 kilometers, so that's the first. Um, secondly, that electric trucking can be a profitable alternative to diesel already today. And thirdly, we talked a lot about the truck today, but I also want to say that We are ready to support our customers on the journey to electrification. Um, some are well on their way, others are just getting started, and there is a few still kind of not knowing how to get started. Um, but we are ready to, to do that journey step by step together, to consult the customers on which routes to electrify first, um, how to set up the charging, and we want to be a partner in this to step by step make sure that our customers are successful in the transition to electric trucking. Thank you, Karin. Thank you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And with that, is, we, are all, we are at the end of the public live stream. Thank you so much for watching us online for the public live, live stream. It's time to say goodbye. Thank you very much for your time and your attention. And we hope to see you soon in the world of trucks for the media live stream. After a short break, we will come back with more deep dive information. So we will see you back in just a few seconds and as charged to change, as we say here at Mercedes-Benz Trucks. See you then. Thank you.